Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting edition of Scruff's Garage. I'm continuing my series of prepping the car, getting it ready for the track. And probably one of the single most important things that you do uh, in prepping for the track is bleeding the, uh, the brake fluid. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing the uh, brake bleeding uh, procedure. So you start over here at the brake uh, fluid master cylinder. Keep uh, several uh, paper towels handy. Uh, brake fluid is very bad for your paint. Uh, so you want to make sure and be very careful not to spill any uh, on your paint. Uh, to get it started, we're going to suck out uh, as much of the brake fluid as we can in the reservoir. Uh, there's no point in leaving that in there. It's uh, older fluid. Uh, no need to push that uh, all the way to the back of the car. So we're going to suck this out uh, and then top it off with fresh new fluid. That way we get a little bit better um, uh, bleeding. We get a standard automotive uh, siphon and then a catch container. Make sure to clean up the mess as it go. I think that'll take care of that. Like I said, you don't have to get 100% of it, but the more fluid that you're able to get out, um, just that much less fluid, uh, you have to siphon out uh, or bleed through a, a bleeder uh, valve. So I'm going to grab a fresh can of ATE Type 200 um, brake fluid. We'll top this off and we'll get started with the bleeding procedure. Okay, I just opened a fresh can of the ATE Type 200 uh, brake fluid. Uh, as we've discussed at other points, uh, brake fluid is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs moisture uh, from the atmosphere, whether it be through your brake lines, uh, through various seals, or certainly if you've opened a can previously, um, you know, this obviously isn't a perfect seal. Uh, so you may be getting uh, moisture con content into your brake fluid, which lowers the boiling temperature, uh, which is not something you want on the racetrack. So I always start with a fresh can. And I'm going to pour ever so carefully and top off the brake master cylinder. Alright, get that to a full level. As usual, clean up my mess. Put the lid back on that to the side. Now to show you how to use the motive brake bleeder. Make sure the adapter cap is good and clean. You don't want to put any uh, contaminants or dust, that sort of thing, into uh, the brake master cylinder. It's got a rubber seal, so you press down a little bit and twist. Uh, and then it's as simple as Pumping up the uh, can uh, canister here. Uh, that's about 9 psi. Watch the gauge, just make sure it's not leaking down. So we got a good seal there. And so now we'll be able to go, uh, we'll start in the rear, uh, furthest from the brake master cylinder, and we'll start bleeding. Uh, that brake caliper uh, will probably run the majority of the fluid 
actually through that one and the other, um, the left rear, uh, that's where the majority of the fluid's going to have to push. Um, then once we get to the front, it'll go a little bit quicker. Okay, so we're starting at the right rear uh, brake caliper. There's a little uh, cap here. Uh, pull that off. Uh, you can see the bleeder valve. Uh, one thing I like to use, uh, certainly not necessary, it's more of a luxury, um, but it's a little jar. It's got a little wire tie on it and then a, uh, a clear hose so you can see the brake fluid going through it. Um, I loop this over the uh, uh, bolt in the back and then run the rubber hose fits over the uh, bleeder nipple and that way when we crack this open we don't get brake fluid all over everything like I said not required but you do this often enough and the fewer things that you have to clean up afterwards uh, the better life is so we crank the uh, bleeder valve open. Uh, you can watch it start filling up the cup. Uh, you also keep an eye uh, up front at the brake fluid uh, reservoir. Make sure that doesn't get too low. You certainly don't want to suck air into the system. Uh, you'd have to run <clears throat> even more brake fluid through it to get the, any uh, air bubbles out. Um, I haven't had any problems and certainly um, if you had just replaced uh, one of these calipers, you know, there'd be air in the system, so you'd be watching uh, to see uh, air bubbles coming out. I'm watching this, and it's nice and steady stream of uh, brake fluid, so I don't have any air uh, in the calipers because I hadn't been having any any issues. But uh, certain certainly something to watch for uh, if it's the first time you've bled the brakes, uh, check and make sure there aren't any air bubbles in the system. Okay, I've been watching the uh, brake fluid reservoir. Uh, it's starting to get a little low, uh, so before we run it too low, uh, we'll close off the bleeder valve uh, back here at the brake caliper. Uh, now we'll go up front and we'll uh, release the pressure. We'll top off the fluid. Okay, we're back up front at the brake fluid reservoir. So we'll slowly release the cap. The pressure off, take that to the side. Always watch to make sure there's not brake fluid on that and it doesn't drip on uh, the side of the car. And we'll top off the reservoir. And we'll repeat our process. Put the lid on, make sure it's snug. There we go, right about 10 psi. Alright, and we'll go back and we'll keep bleeding. So you can see the uh, motive bleeder really makes this a, a very simple one-man process. Uh, just keep topping off the brake fluid uh, reservoir, don't let it run too low. And then you just work your way from uh, each caliper, working your way towards the, the front. Uh, like I mentioned before, typically I'll run uh, probably almost half the can through, um, starting with that uh, right rear because uh, that's going to be the furthest run and you're moving the most fluid. You're emptying the reservoir, you're emptying the lines going all the way to the rear, so that's where you're really moving uh, the majority of the fluid. Um, I'll run a little less through the uh, left rear and then as you get to the front, obviously it's a very short run from here, uh, say to this front left brake caliper, so it really doesn't take much fluid there. Uh, so I just kind of try to proportion it out uh, so that by the time I get to the front, I'm getting towards the end of the can. Like I said, I can't save it anyway, so I might as well use all the fluid. Though you do want to leave enough to make sure that when you're done, you're able to top off the fluid uh, and get it to the appropriate level. So I hope that helps you. Uh, if you've got to bleed the brakes on your Corvette, 
uh, or any, uh, any other similar application when you're getting ready for a track day or just doing some general maintenance. Um, I recommend one of these Motive um, power bleeders. It really makes this a simple job. So thanks for tuning in to Scruff's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. Let's me know that you're enjoying the videos, and we'll see you next time.